If you're a go high level agency and are struggling to get clients on your website, I'm going to share with you today the six steps that I use and how to have a website that not only looks good, but actually gets you clients for your agency. If you don't know, I run a web design agency and I've been building websites in high level since 2022 and I've helped over 150 agencies and businesses build a website that actually gets them more clients. So with that out of the way, here are the six steps. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to walk you through three different websites. The first one will be this one, which is kind of like what I see when I'm building websites on high level. I'm going to walk you through why this doesn't work. It's not just the design or having pretty images. I'm going to walk you through the entire psychology behind the scenes. The other two websites that I'm going to show you is my two agency templates. It's going to be this one right here. This is my GHO AI light template and then this one right here. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire step-by-step -step psychology as to how I actually built this website. So even if you don't buy this template on my store, which by the way, it's a link in the description, you'll still be able to know exactly how I built them, the approach that I took, and then implement this yourself in your agency. So with that out of the way, let's go back to this right here. The first step is you wanna make sure that you have a clear hero section and a CTA that is easy to understand. If we take a look at this right here, the first thing that we see is there's a lot of things going on, too much stack, too many shapes and subconsciously my eyes don't know where to focus so i see like a circle here that's kind of distracting i see this shape right here as well and this long text with a bunch of words that don't really speak to me at all as you're building your website and as you have this first hero section you want to ask yourself would my ideal client immediately understand what this website is about or what is it that I offer. So this is the mistake that I see all the time on GHL websites. Yes, we're very technical, we're agency owners, we like the GHL technology, but we need to make sure that we present this to our clients or prospects in such a way that it makes sense for them they are not marketers, they are not agency owners, they don't even know what high level is. Another question that you can ask yourself is, is my CTA relevant to my clients? Go. So a mistake that I see on a lot of GHA websites is that let's say that even if this was an offer, the CTA that they have is going to features instead of going to the actual thing that they're promising. Here, the CTA would be book a call to learn how or yes, I want more appointments. So just make sure that your CTA and your offer is not only relevant, but actually congruent and that it makes sense. In this case right here, you see that I'm saying AI that handles your scheduling, lead generation, and so on. I'm using language that my prospect understands. My main action right here is not for them to go to my testimonials or to my Instagram or any of that stuff. I wanna make sure that I drive them to the CTA that is most relevant, like actually get started. The lens I'd like to take myself when I'm building websites is, would my ideal client understand this? Or if I put myself in the shoes of my ideal client, does this make sense? And if this would speak to their problems as well. Now, the second section that you want to make sure that you add on your website is a trust building section, a section that from the beginning starts providing trust or reasons for them to trust you. And two questions that I like to ask myself right here is, does this feel legit? Or do these testimonials look like they're stock, like not relevant to what I'm trying to offer, what I'm my services? And the second question would be, have I made it obvious that my business can be trusted and deliver the results that I'm promising in my offer or throughout the rest of my marketing efforts? I could have the best offer right here, but if this looks fake, it's gonna be much more harder for me to build trust with my prospect, which is the step that comes before them taking the decision to actually book with me and so on. A mistake that I see on a lot of GHO websites is that after their hero section right here, when you scroll down, they have a bunch of features. So nobody cares about features. How can I even know that I can trust this business? So if we take a look at this right here, even from the hero section, you see that this is something that I'm already establishing social proof. So subconsciously, I'm letting the prospect know there's already 125 clients that are happy. When I scroll down here, the first thing that I show them is social proof. So this is the type of, this is different services that trust my company. So trusted by local, and online entrepreneurs. It's the same thing for my dark version right here. I've added this social proof in the hero. And as I scroll down, I have uh, benefits, which I'm gonna talk to you in just one sec. But then I have this section again for proof and then testimonials. So a mistake that I see on a lot of GHO websites is even if they have added testimonials, the testimonials that they add are not relevant to what you're offering or not directly relevant. So if you're talking about the fact that AI is going to transform a business you don't wanna talk here about like other things that are not directly related to what you're offering. So I wouldn't be talking about web design or like some other stuff that is not really related 
to the value prop right here. So as you see right here, I'm talking about the fact that AI is going to transform leads, conversations, uh, website clicks into sales. So that's the same thing that I want to make sure that I add this in my reviews right here. We double our monthly revenue with AI. My AI employee saves me a lot of time. The third step would be the what I like to call the problem benefit section. After we've shown to a prospect what we do with the hero section and why they should trust us, we actually need to let them know how we can help them solve this problem. So two questions that I like to ask myself is, am I showing how my offer, the thing that I'm offering, actually helps my prospect? Or am I just listing features, technicalities that they might not care at all whatsoever? And the second question would be, would this section or this entire website really make someone say, wow, this is exactly what I've been looking for? Like that's literally what your goal should be on your website. Build a website in such a way where your ideal prospect, as they're consuming your content, has this thought in their exact mind. This can definitely solve my problems. If I scroll to this feature section, this doesn't tell me anything about how myself as a business owner can get my problems solved by the service, by this agency, by this platform whatsoever. If we take a look at this right here, as I scroll down here, the first thing that I present them is a problem. Here, I'm trying to relate to them. And the way that I do this is by making sure that I describe what they're feeling as best as I can, because subconsciously, they're going to trust more. And afterwards, we're going to present a solution like I'm going to show you in just one sec. So in this section, what I show is the problem. Running your business can be overwhelming. So I don't talk about GHO, I don't talk about AI, I don't talk about features or any of that stuff. I start with the problem that they currently have. So right now you have leads that are inconsistent or scattered. You might not have a sales or remarketing process, which is why clients are slipping through the cracks and you have a lot of different tools, not enough time. Running your business is overwhelming. After I've presented my problem right here, the next thing that I show is the solution. So here I say meet AI and then here I describe my solution of my platform. I'm just making it as simple as possible to show what is it that I offer. And I have this right here, which yes, it's cool that it's animated, but more than that, what I'm doing right here is illustrating what I've just claimed right here. AI is going to help you run and grow your business. And then here I show a notification of from Lead Connector. If you have the app, you know that this is what the Lead Connector app looks like. And I'm just saying new appointment booked. The AI just booked an appointment, priming my prospect to know what is it that this AI does. So in this case, it's wow, I can book appointments on my behalf. When I do talk about the features, like I don't even talk about the features. I don't say like CRM, blah, 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 but about benefits. So AI that works 24 seven for your business. Imagine the ability to respond to your clients instantly, boost conversions by 30%, save time and cut costs. And again, when I say this stuff right here, I complement it with visuals, like you see right here, that actually illustrate what I'm claiming in a way that my client can see how this platform or this service would look like if implemented in their business. You wanna make sure that, yes, you have a lot of tech and all that stuff, but you approach it from the prospect's eye. The fourth step would be a visual breakdown of the service or the offer. So these two are kind of like related, and some questions that you wanna ask yourself right here is, can my ideal prospect see how the service works just by scanning my website or just by scanning this section, which we already touched in like earlier. And then the second question would be, is it easy and visual to follow my website or am I just cramming like a bunch of text and a layout that is just making it hard for my prospect to consume the information, potentially them exiting the website. Here is like where we combine three things. First would be the graphics. The second would be the way that we structure our text and our actual copy. And then third would be the actual design. So I could have the best copy possible, but if I cram it in such a way that it looks like this, it's going to be very hard for a prospect to stay on this website. You see, when I scroll down here, there's a bunch of effects. It looks a little bit cheap. So that's something that I would try to stay away with. If I am going to add animations, I would do it just like this in such a way that they're clean, like kind of like simple fades and that type of stuff. But just making sure that what I add looks clean and I don't overdo it. Not only looks cheap, but actually distracts or makes the user experience on this website worse. Another mistake that I see on a lot of GHO websites is having sections that look like this. And what I mean look like this is that the colors that you do have 
are hard to read. So you see that here, even if I was interested or this was the best copy ever, it's just hard for me to read because it's very crammed and there's not enough contrast in here. If I go on a dark mode template, this is the type of colors and uh, style that I would go for dark background over white and like a lighter gray and then add some accents where I want to draw attention. Just compare this to something like this that looks a lot more clean or in a dark uh, version what this would look like is something like this. Very easy to read, interactive and just easier to consume overall. The fifth step is lead form and booking systems. And the two questions that I like to ask myself is, is this form that I'm adding here short, easy to fill out, even if I was doing this from a phone. And the second question would be, am I making it compelling enough for them to take action now and not later? So this could be based on the offer that you have or how good have you been able at actually identifying that problem that prospect has and presenting yourself as a solution to that problem or that pain. There's a balance between how much friction you add. So you wanna make sure that you add good friction, which is friction to help you qualify leads, but you eliminate bad friction. So that would be unnecessary steps or hoops that even your qualified prospects are finding hard to navigate through. Go on your website, click on the buttons, try to book a call. How does this look like? And is it too hard for your ideal prospect to book or is it too easy for just anyone who just randomly clicked and start filling your appointment with fake appointment? The sixth step is have an automation that works for you behind the scenes. So two questions, what happens when somebody submits their form or books an appointment? Like actually just go through your steps. You don't know how many times, and even this has happened to me in the past, where I've set up an automation, I think it's working properly, but then when I actually go through it, I realize, oh my goodness, like this is not working how I intended to work. And the second question is, am I using automation to increase the likelihood that I turn this prospect into a client or just for the sake of using the automation, just to say like, oh, I'm using AI. So again, this goes back to just looking at what you're doing with your automations and your workflows. If you have a bunch of stuff where you're tagging people here, creating opportunities there, but you're, this automation is not actually helping you turn prospects into clients, then it might be time to look at what you're doing and then shift from just a bunch of those like random creating opportunities here, doing this and that, and then going to more tactical stuff that will actually help you move the needle, such as sending reminders to your prospects, I an mean, email nurturing sequence and all that stuff after they've already visited your website and have shown intention of working with you or bug the call, whatever it may be. So that is the psychology behind how I built this AI website. If you're an agency that sells AI and you would like to skip the trouble of building a website, doing the graphics, spending a lot of hours trying to code, you can get this exact website, which took us four weeks to build and we will usually charge four or $5,000 for just a fraction of the cost. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and get this website for your agency.